Hello! Hello, hello, everybody! Salutations and welcome to a Tinkerer's Cube draft here on the channel. My last one did not go as well as I would have hoped, so I'm diving back in, hoping to do them a little bit better. If you do enjoy this video, remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, click that bell so you get notified when I post future videos, and leave a comment in the comment section down below with any questions or feedback. You can check out the Twitch stream live at twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas, and you can support me directly via Patreon, patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas, or by subscribing to my channel for free with Prime Gaming. Link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account or create a Twitch account to do so if you don't use Twitch, and then you can subscribe for free and support my content at no cost to yourself. Always last to ready, exactly. So, starting things off, I've decided to go with a more normal draft approach, just take the cards that I think are the best, and then see what's open from there. I think that might be where I'm tripping myself up, I'm overthinking things. So, in this pack there's a Basri Ket, Planeswalkers are generally quite good. But Basri's a little bit weaker. There's a lot of powerful cards in the cube. Basri is still good, though. There is Nicole Bolas, which is, I mean, Nikolai Bolas, Nicole Bolas. There's a temptation there for sure. But taking a Grixis card is uh, not as responsible. I'm trying to win here uh, to the best of my abilities. There is a Lonely Sandbar. I'm not going to first pick a land for a color if I don't know I'm playing that color. That's just a little bit strange, I think. So I'm trying. I'm thinking maybe Sensor could be a pick. Uh, that's a solid card. There's also Skewer the Critics. And then there's Basriket. I think Basriket could be quite good uh, if there are Planeswalkers. Hmm. Like, because it's just a nice way to buff up your white creatures. There's a tokens theme. I'm just going to take the Planeswalker. I think over Sensor. Sensor seems like it's more of like a card that I think is good. Now there's a Daxos. It goes well with the heavy white card that I already have gets a lot of toughness boost from Basri Ket and protects it pretty well what else is there there's a regal bloodlord that could wheel for a white black life gain deck I think white does have a lot of life gain themes and maybe some token themes and Daxos plays well with both of those what else is there there's guardian idol which is a good card there's some gold cards here this is a nice, nice mill card I think I'm just going to take the Daxos though if I'm playing a white aggro deck with Basri Ket, then Daxus is going to be good. I like Idol for Ramp. If this was pack one, pick one, I would probably take the Idol because it goes in any deck and it's decent there, but it's not like that incredible, I think. I think Daxus is really good in the white decks with Basri Ket. And if I can wheel the Bloodlord, then I could have a, a little plan going. A little bit of a plan! He's up to something. Let's see if we know anyone in our pod. Or if there's any fun usernames. Johnny Cash. Great singer. I uh, hear yeah, the train a coming, coming round the bend. And I ain't had a Daxo since I don't know when. There is Heliod. Um, okay. So in this pack, there are a couple of good white cards. There's Leonin Vanguard, which uh, is a nice life gain synergy card there's also a sky marcher aspirant which is more of just a great white card what else is there in the pack that's good bloodthirsty aerialist could be quite nice whenever you gain life put a counter on it i think leonin vanguard's actually a little bit better it does sacrifice the power and the potential to gain flying for the upside of potentially like being a great synergy piece so i think i'm going to take that over the aspirant wanderer strike can be good too Ronum Unicorn. I'm going to take the Leonin. If I can maybe wield the, some of the black life gain payoff cards by like monopolizing all of the life gain cards. Lich's Caress is also pretty decent as a removal spell, but I'm just going to stick to white here. Stick to some life gain themes. Oh, baby. This card could be really good in my deck. If I'm a heavy white deck. That could be a lot of tokens. Whew, that is potential for a lot of tokens. Renata could also be good if we end up in a more tokens heavy deck. Dawn of Hope. I don't think I want to branch out of white because there are such good options in white for me to take right here. Like the Reverend Hoplite D Danish, uh, Danitha is like a solid card as well. Dawn of Hope is a little bit clunkier. But it can gain a lot of life. 
I think it's for Reverend versus Dawn as well for me. There's also Tristani, which is a really good card. I'm just going to take the Hoplite here. We're potentially seeing green-white tokens. Renata is good with tokens. Tristani is good with tokens. But I think we just keep taking the mono-white cards. Well, this card's very good. Woodland Champion, another good tokens payoff. But I currently only have the one big token maker, and Bazrukhet can make tokens. And Venerated Loxodon is just a house in these heavy white decks. I do like Sun Scourge Champion as well. Hmm. So we're potentially seeing, so it's gonna depend on what we wheel, but we could wheel some nice green cards for a green white tokens deck, and we could wheel some black cards for a nice black white life gain deck. But it looks like we're gonna have token elements, but the elephant is really good in this sort of deck. And it looks like there's going to be some self-contained white life gain. I'm, I'm pretty sure like there's like a Johnny's Pride Mate and things of that nature. So the Vanguard could still be quite good for me. Okay, now there's nothing too wild. There's Dance with Devils for a red-white tokens deck. There's Cub Warden, which I think I'll take. It's good synergy with Vanguard. I currently have one human. But it's also another like synergy piece to make tokens. We're seeing some blue. There's a little bit of counters. We're just so open here. We can go any direction. Heavy white. Ooh. Oh. Mmm. Spicy. There's some great cards here. Heroic reinforcements is good. Castle Ardenvale leaves me mono white. Reinforcements is pretty good with the cards I have. Because I do go pretty wide here. Hmm. This is only non-token creatures attacking. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna take the Castle Ardenvale. Hello, Eckle. It's a nice way to keep getting uh value if I run out of steam. Hmm. Maybe this card's better. The problem is, is I was kind of banking on green white maybe being open. I like just staying flexible, taking a card that's guaranteed to make my deck over a card that I'm not sure I can play. Karn's Bastion can be good. It works with the um, Venerated Loxodon, with the Basri Ket. So if I end up in Mono White, it could be good. There's also a Scrounger for Black White stuff. I think I'm going to take the Bastion though. It has some really nice synergy with some of the cards in my deck, and if I am a heavy white deck, it's not going to really matter as much. Hello, Eglind. Hello, Sujav. Okay, now there's a couple of blue cards. There's a Heliod's Pilgrim. I'm going to take the Pilgrim. I don't have any auras yet, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to end up with some, and just continuing to take the white card seems good to me. With a double white card, double white card. Oh, Baby came back. So Bloodlord, if, if you gain life this turn, create a bat. So what do we have to gain life? Cub Warden. Daxos, Vanguard. So we've got some ways. Guardian Idol's potential, but we're not really a ramp deck. So we're going to take the Bloodlord. Whew, Aspirin came back. Nice. Any thoughts about this cube so far? I'm not really a cube aficionado. I'm trying to get better at this one, but I think Lich's Caress is either going to be worse than just a white one drop for my deck. Continuing to cut white. Now I'll take Danitha Capuchin. It's another card that rewards me a little bit for auras, like the Pilgrim, and it's just taking another white card rather than, even though it enforces maybe a little bit better. I just like sticking to white. Ooh, now Sun Scourge Champion. The more life gain stuff is better. Um two life. It's going to be hard to gain three or more life in a turn, I think. And here we're still very flexible. We don't have to play the Blood Lord. Wow, last pick enforcement. So we have kind of two different directions we could go. We could go red or black here. But for now, we're sticking with white. Hmm. So this is for each aura. We don't have any auras, and we're not really picking up auras right now. We could just take the Venerable Knight. It is corrupt. 
It is. So do we have any other knights? Soldier, knight. We do have one knight. This card goes well with some my with my one life gain card. Getting a last pick enforcement is pretty good. I kind of just want to take the white cards. Keep up the pressure. Because I'm just a white beatdown deck. And the longer I have to, I can wait to choose. I don't think this card is particularly good without sack outlets. Because they just kill that first with their removal spell. And this card's a little bit clunky. I'm just going to keep taking the white aggro cards. Ooh. Oh, baby. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So Sarah said, you have 30 or more life, we don't really have the tools to gain that much life, and this might wheel. On Sarah's wings could be good. Fearless Fledgling could be really good in this deck. There's also a Sacred Foundry if I did want to go on the Heroic Reinforcements plan. On Sarah's wings is good with the Pilgrim, and is a nice little tool, but I don't think I need to really commit to that sort of thing. Hmm. Sacred Foundry could be nice. How many two drops do I have? I have one two drop. Fearless Fledgling's got to be good. It is. I'm not sure I'm playing the Blood Lord though, so I'm just waiting as long as possible to choose. And if I don't end up choosing, I'll be probably just be a mono white deck. It can be. I'm not sure I'm going to play the Pilgrim though. Oh, doke. So there's a Conclave Mentor, which has synergy with. Is it a knight? No, it's not. Synergy with Fearless Fledgling, Bastard the Cleric, and the Bastion. I think I'm just going to take the Gust Walker. I do like Bastard's Acolyte, especially with the Mentor. But I need more two drops for my aggro curve. Hmm, these are both good. If I took this, would I wheel the Bastard's Acolyte? I think I'm just going to go like this. Keep taking the white cards when in doubt. Whoa! Thank you, Alexandre Weber, MTG, for the raid. I appreciate that. Thanks for sending all your viewers over to me. I really do appreciate that. Hello, everybody. Welcome. We're drafting some Tinkerer's Cube, currently on a very heavy white deck that could go into a variety of different colors. There's an Omen of the Sun, which I'm not sure my deck really wants. There's also Great Henge. Hmm. And there's Wildwood Scourge for counter synergies. Great Henge is a good card, but I don't have any like massive creatures to go with it. I could just take Omen. Hmm. I'm gonna take the Great Henge. I think Great Henge has some upside, and there have been some green potential signals. Okay, now we get an easy secluded step. Helps our mana. Like if we now we can go red, black, or green, and with these nods, what's this? As long as your life total is greater than or equal to starting life, creature get plus one plus one. You gain life equal to the number of attack creatures. This seems a little bit dicey to use. Got to be said. Yeah. Hey, Alexandre, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. We're just gonna take the land. I will. Thank you so much. This seems a little bit win more. We're just going to take this thing. Hmm, hmm, what's this? You may gain life equal. So you gain three life when this enters the battlefield. Not bad, not bad. We could also take the Triome because it helps us with Bloodlord, Heroic Reinforcements, if we want to go for that. And it gives us options for either of them. So this is a 5 mana 3 4 that gains life. We have some things with flying, but not a ton. I think we're going to take the Savai Triome. Okay, Risk the Redeemed. We have some decent token synergies. And this is a nice little one drop. There's also a black white land to help us cast this Blood Lord. But I'm honestly fine just sticking to. Mono white deck as well. Sky tether. Sure, we'll take that. Hmm. 
The apparition came back. We do have some counters. Fledgling, Basriket. That locks it on. And it's a terrifying two drop, so I'm just going to take it. Bastion's fine, but we still could go any of those colors as a second color or just stick to mono white, so I'm not worried. Ooh, Sarah sent it. Nice, nice. Hmm. Would we rather have that or like. I don't think we really a Satessan champion deck. Let's just take the white one drop. Sure, Oath of Kai is better than Lamia or Ephemia. At least I think it is. Tinkerer's Cube is a vague concept in my head. Miso Miso. In theory, it's a cube filled with cards that really rely on synergy. In practice, it's like a weird version of the normal arena cube. Sure, we'll take Baron more. We got this card last pick. We wield this one. So we're just going to make a pile of all of the cards that are uh, not like guaranteed. Like All these cards are pretty much locked to make our deck. Not this one. But we'll leave it there for now. Mortify came back. That's a good signal point for black white. Black white's looking pretty open. Oh my goodness. Well, getting a veto could be real good for us. Yeah, that's the theory, Miso Miso. Gonti's really good, but veto seems like it could be a house in our deck. Ranger could be good. Pacifism's good. Ranger, get, Ranger gets us uh, two cards most of the time. Vito seems like it could be really good, though. I don't really think forcing mono red is very fun. Um, Ranger is, of Eos is tempting. Retriever is tempting. Pacifism is tempting. But I think this card is the highest upside. And Black-White has seemed the most open. So that can be like a game-winning card for us. Bell haunt. Hmm. Token maker. Uh, expensive. A Johnny's pride mate. Hmm. Getting double black could be tough. I think it's better than making four dogs. I don't think Coco is generally good in, in limited, but I mean, I'm all especially because I'm kind of going for a black white deck now. This guy's tempting as well. Hopefully, it wheels. I think this card could wheel too. I don't really want this guy. It seems a little bit like I don't really have the best uses for the tokens. And this card's fine in the mid game, even if it takes me a while to get double black. I'm going to go Healer's Hawk here over Patrician. I think Patrician's a little bit harder to use. And it's always nice to get a nice little one-drop creature that can start to chip in. And maybe some of the black-white cards are going to wheel. Start to finish. Anointed Procession's not that good for me. I do need some removal, and this is kind of fits the bill. I would have had a pretty good red-white deck, too, I think. I've got some nice removal. I don't think I can play Bastion in a two-color deck. Though with... I mean, I got a couple of... I could have taken a uh, black-white dual lane, but I didn't know... Uh, my call could be wow this is a really good witch of the moors deck this card's really good if you can gain life a lot and uh we are going to be able to gain a life a decent amount of the time wish we could get the soul warden that would be really good in our deck i 
which is fantastic for us. Which the Moors can just win us the game on its own. Like, if you gained life this turn. So, like, we hit them with, like, a... Uh, if we hit them with a uh, Healer's Hawk or something. Farika spawns okay. Um, Unburial Rite's not the greatest. We could take Farika spawn or... I'm going to take the Rites. I'm not sure I'm going to play it. Okay, currently this isn't looking like it's making the cut. We have four lands here. What else doesn't look like it's making the cut? I mean, especially with Basilica Bell Haunt Bastion gets a lot worse. What do we have that gets counters? Hmm. Um, Blessings, not great for us. This is just a whiff of a pack for us. What's this? That's a neat card. I guess we take Vicious Offering. Maybe we just don't run Bell Haunt because it's too hard to cast or something. Arden Real Tactician's a good one. Timur calls the dead. Self mill token making, self mill token making, life gain. I think we're just gonna take the tactician. It's a nice little flyer. We do have a lot of creatures for this thing. Bugler's okay. I'm just going to take the Ranger Captain, though. I mean, the Ranger Revios. We have a lot of one drops. Bugler's also pretty fine in this deck. Mm -hmm. Release the Doge. The Dogs. The Black Blade. We have some legendary creatures we could put this on. I think it's better than taking the dogs card. We did get Patrician back, nice. Hmm. Blade goes well with our wrists, Daxos, Danatha. Whoa, thanks, Wizard, for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome in, everybody. We're drafting a black-white deck right now. Hey, everybody. Hooray, welcome in. I don't think we're going to play the Bastion. It is really sweet with the Venerated Locks it on, but... We don't have all that many counters, and we do have some pretty heavy color requirements. Pride of Conquerors. Raiding Nova Invasion. Invasion, invasion. Sarah said it's a bit weak, too. Yeah, this deck ended up looking pretty sweet. Though, obviously, we have to wait to see for the games. So we can play Baron more. We can play some... I think we're going to play 18 lands in this deck because we do have Cycling Land, Cycling Land, and Cycling Land. So we have the three Cycling Lands. Potentially Bastion. What does Bastion work with? Let's just double check. So this... We don't have, really have a ton of Knights to put that on. We have soldiers so it doesn't really work with that it doesn't work with my it works with fledgling basri yeah i'm not playing a land it works pretty much just with the elephants so we're not playing the land oh yeah I don't have the other Bastion. I almost took it. It wheeled for me, but I took a, just a cup to taking white one drops. This is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17 is pretty decent, but I'm going to have to add some 
I'm probably gonna cut some of these swamps if possible. Um, we need to keep all of our two drops, I think. I don't know if we can play Sarah Ascendant. Getting to 30 or more life seems ambitious. All of our other one drops are pretty good, though. Yeah, because cycling lands, so we're gonna be flooding less. Danitha Capuchin. Um, we don't really have any auras or equipment, so we're gonna cut that. I think. <laughs> Indulging patrician, gaining three more life. Seems doubtful. Hmm. This is seven, eight, nine, ten, seventeen. I think I want to do that and then add two planes. So that gives me nine, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, but I have three cycling lands. And so I need one more cut. The hoplite's still really good for me, I think. Hop Riss is good with hoplite. Also gives me a way to spend my mana. I think Riss is decent. I have a couple ways to make tokens. I've got my Baz ready to make some tokens. Cub Warden can make some tokens, and it's just a nice utility card to be able to get with Ranger. Apparition is not perfect, like not great, but I think it's better than not playing Apparition because I need some two drops to help me attack with. And it works well with the locks it on. Hmm. No, it only costs one white mana. Um, Bell haunts a little bit sketchy, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, what else do we need? What else do we want? I like all these four drops. Huh. I'm going to put all my removal spells in one pile so I can see what my creature curve looks like. My creature curve looks decent. This is tough. Maybe I do just want to run a more normal land count. Like I go like that. Run 17. I have a pretty cheap deck. I have a couple of 5 drops that are really good, but... This can be cast for cheaper most of the time. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll just run 17 lands. And uh, I'll see you folks in the matches. Before I get to the matches, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons over at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas, and special thanks to those who support me at the credits level. It's thanks to patrons that I am able to continue investing the time and effort needed to produce high quality videos on a consistent basis, so thank you so much for that, and I really do appreciate it. If you would like to learn more about the Patreon, the rewards you can get for becoming a patron, and how it helps me continue to make videos, be sure to check out that information at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. But without further ado, let's get to the matches. Hello, everybody, and welcome to round one. We're playing against someone with orange username, which means they are from Wizards of the Coast employees, I think. So that's wild. What about this hand, though? On the draw, we have a one drop, we have a three drop. Got some spells. I think we'll keep it. gotta beat the employee. I mean, the employee knows exactly what they're doing. They probably designed the cube. If they put staggering inside onto this, I'm gonna cry. My god. Come on, swamp. Wow. This is a horrible place to be. On turn three. I need a swamp so badly. Give me that swamp. They played their flash creature pre-combat. Oh, so they could draw a card. Smart. Oh my gosh. The humanity. Uh, 
Oh gosh. This is a real disappointment, gotta be said. If we did a black source to kill this on turn three, we'd be winning, I think. You do not have to fight. You are capable of more than Dear yourself. God, I'm dead. Oh my gosh. It was my big chance to beat a wizard's employee. This is the only time I've ever faced one. And they just curved out on me with the... Gosh. Oh my gosh. Turn one flyer, turn two staggering insight. Oh, no justice. Actually, probably justice. Yikes. Welcome to another round. We have discovered the swamp that we lacked last time. Yeah, everyone, it's a conspiracy. And I'll cycle this land. That's a good sign for me. I'm gonna play this. I can just start using the start to finish soon. Oh, three colors. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna chill on that probably. I can use it to get a life gain trigger from like a witch or something at some point. I'll just use my start here. Uh, Okie doke. We will probably mortify that. Yeah, we don't really care about this right now because we have a decent life total. We'd probably rather kill the life gain payoffs almost. Yeah, we're going to save our removal spell. Okay, so they have four cards, but my board state is superior. Okay. That's going to have to go. Uh, 
I'm fine trading this for both their flyers, I think. That's good for me. There are a lot of different decks in cube. They've been getting a lot of mileage out of this random secluded step. Oh baby, let's go. Heck yes, Healer's Hawk. This is why we didn't trade it off earlier. Next time we can uh, veto. Hmm. We'll veto. It makes their decision more difficult. Because this way when we gain life from this... I figured they'd be killing that anyway. Wow. Looks like we're going to get a win against Large Brandon. They don't have double white for this guy. Victory! We bounced back, chat. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to get a win. I'll see you folks in the next round. Welcome to another round. We need to draw lands for this hand to work out. But we have all of our top end. Can't even cast Daxos. I think I'm all looking this. This hand is a little bit clunky too. But I think it's a little better. Certainly keeping it. I think we get rid of the Hoplite. Because we can play Vito, mutate the Cub Warden onto it. Which is a nice curve, and then locks it on. And hopefully we draw like a one drop on our first, on our second turn, or a two drop on our second turn. Apparition would be a pretty good draw. Maybe we should um, mutate onto the Cub Warden, uh, the Cub Warden onto the Vanguard. Yeah, we probably don't want to just put all of our eggs on the Veto not getting killed basket. Certainly over. We'll attack with Vito. This way, if they uh, they don't, they just have less options. We maybe be able to get through a point of damage. Vito and Cub Warden is a sick combo. No! No! My Vito! Oh, I'm so sad. I could have protected you, Vito. I'm going to get the extra counter. I'll play the land. If they have a discard spell, I don't want to lose my guy. 
And all that it does is change this from a 1-1 to a 2-2, where it's getting a counter that this continues to grow is just real nice. Oh, so they could mill my finish. Oh, suck it, opponent. Sorry, that wasn't very nice. I apologize, opponent. Uh, I just got too caught up in the moment. Oh my gosh! Yes! Yeah, I'll just put four counters on things, play my witch. Oh, to my hand. Hello, Vito. Welcome back to the gang. Oh, yes. I know. I'm I'm actually very sad that I said suck it to the opponent. It wasn't very nice. I'm sorry, Viper94. If you do watch this, my sincerest apologies. That was rude. Unsportsmanlike. But good! Feels good to win. Let's go. Welcome to another round. We have a good hand. Aspirant. Basri. Scourge. And the Warden. You'll love to see it. la di dee la -de -de. Oh! It's one of those opponents. Hello. They're playing Sultai. Four color. Ooh, Dawn Treader Elk. We could potentially get them. They might go for a block sack situation. We're going to start ticking up the Basri. I think we want to get the Basri down. Because this can threaten ultimate against this sort of deck potentially. If they attack Basri back, I think we're okay with that. It means they don't have a blocker. I'm pretty sure they're block sacking, yeah. Yeah, it is a pretty good ult. Bowser just provides a lot of pressure. Next turn we can Cub Warden onto the Aspirant. Or onto this guy again. Probably rather do it on Aspirant because then it could gain flying. As a massive creature. Not quite flying yet. My sand will protect you. Did he just say my sand will protect you? You love to hear it. Ah! My sand will protect you. Good to know. Oh my gosh! I see fire inside the mountain. I see flames. That wasn't a very nice opponent. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Why? My petard. I was hoisted. Oh, where was the sand when I needed it most? Gosh. Wow. Of course, that's the play the board sweeper they had. 
I'm so sad. It's just disappointing. Gosh darn it. You hate to see it. Oh my gosh, they're all on the top. Dear goodness gracious me. It's safe to say that I'm pretty dead. Uh, they had. This is one of the things that's frustrating. Is there's like one card that just destroys that board state completely. I even had a planeswalker against most sweepers. It just doesn't matter at all. Right when I start to get confident. Right when I start to believe in myself. I start, I dreamed a dream of times gone by. When I had creatures and some lands. Oh my god. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Wow. Of course they hit it off the branch walker. Why wouldn't they hit it off the branch walker? This is wild. I don't believe I have any outs, so I'm probably going to concede after this draw step. Yeah. They're also at 18 life, obviously. My gosh. That was such a feels bad. Oh, that was painful. Welcome to another round. Eh, we'll hit a planes. Eh, that's actually almost better than a planes. Fledgling plus Cub Warden. It's a mental game here in the cube. Oh, baby, let's go. Attack! The Venerable Knight, killed by a lowly beetle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna play Daxos. It's going to be real good with the Cub Warden. And it's going to gain me a lot of life. This is what is known as an all-in situation, where my massive flyer is my hope of salvation. Here we go! Just like in, uh, oh gosh. Another Triome. Oh dear, they have the removal. Bubble Snare, no! Not Bubble Snare! Not Bubble Snare! Okay, perfect. Oh, never fear. Loxodon proving its worth. This is going to be good. 
Wee! <laughs> you may take my cup, warden. But you can never take my dignity. Honestly, opponent could just have a sweeper and I'm screwed. Though, so, how many sweepers are there in this format? There is a couple for sure. Ah, Crows and Tusker. Crows and Tusker is a sweet design. You, you gotta love the design. Or you don't have to, I guess. Look out for Star. They have a red source. Oh, that could end badly. Oh, they can eat it with their scoos. I'm not sure my heart can take another situation. Oh, and they concede! Oh, the value. Oh, we got another win. We have locked in at least a 50-50 win percentage. Oh, that's the dream. We did it, chat. We did it. And YouTube comments, I guess. Let's go. Another round. We are going to keep this hand on the draw because I am greedy. And Leon and Vanguard plus start to finish gets me all of the life gain I need. I do need a land for this to work out, but you know. I believe in land. Oh, yeah. All the land you see in the night sky. The barren moors and plains and the... Oh, yes. So we're playing against Grixis, so... Nicole Bolas incoming. Will never be enough. <laughs> Life gain. Life gain nation. <gasps> The vanguard has destroyed the goat. Tonight they feast. Oh. Well, I didn't see that coming. I think that's a good trade for me. Because now I can attack with impunity. Land? Oh, yes. We're going to bait out some of their spells. Oh, we have acquired a bat. Yeah, very soon, Antonio. It's going to be fun. You should have done that before the bat trigger went on the stack. As I still now possess a fine bat. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna use my bear which of the moors now. I think I messed this up. I could have just killed the Nicole Bolas. Ah. The cube is so complicated. Cause now if they have a land they can make it work. I don't know. So three, four, five, six, seven, they flip it. They draw two cards, it has nine loyalty. Oh, they definitely have the land. Oh no. I've made an egregious mistake. Oh, <gasps> they 
didn't have it. Land me? Oh, nope. I'm fine making that trade. It makes my Witch of the Moors better by a lot. Hmm. There's the land they needed. I'm just going to keep playing Witch of the Moors out. I played a little bit of Brawl in my day. Uh. Crud. I need to draw a swamp. I know the clock's gonna go off. I can't do anything about it. Ah! So, we could say that I'm in trouble, or we could say that there is a chance that I'm not in trouble. They have so many bounce spells, I'm just going to let it happen. I can't block that. Maybe they drew all lands. Haha. -ha. Hmm. The Bell Hunt is a good card to get back, so I'm going to do that. Sacrifice that Efreet, my man. Aho. Uh -oh. Still in the game. Which of the more is carrying me right now on her spindly shoulders? She does have a lot of shoulders, though, so that probably helps.
I can get back the Blood Lord. Oh no. Well, we're going to lose. Oh my gosh. If the Tinkerer's Cube really just wanted to be a synergy cube, they would just get rid of like cards that are just unbeatable. Maybe I should have first picked Nicole Bolas, though taking a Grixis card is a bit ambitious, I'd say. Um, I should have done something with the Lamia blocks, but they could just get it back with the Doomed guy. Yep, that's not great. Flip him. Well, we got to three and three at least. So, some improvement. Wow. I just keep getting wrecked by just everything. I don't know. I feel like this deck was pretty good. And then, what did we lose? We lost to Star of Extinction. We lost to that deck. And then we lost to something else. I think we lost the first round to something. We lost the first round to... Oh, to so the Golos Field of the Dead deck thing. That wasn't the first round. We lost that like Golos deck. No, that was the that was the Star of Extinction. They didn't even have Golos that we saw. Against the employee, you're right. The one where they just curved out and we missed our swamp. Oh my gosh. You're right. Well, wild ride at least. We had some high points, some real low points. The deck was pretty sweet though. Um let me know if you would have built it differently, taken any different picks. Uh, remember, if, if you did enjoy it and made it all the way to the end, remember to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. Leave hashtag life gain breaks even because got to that three and three best performance in this cube so far. So feels good to at least improve. Um, remember to check out the Twitch stream live at twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas. The Discord server linked in the description and pinned comment. Uh, you can support me directly via Patreon, patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas, or by uh, using an Amazon Prime subscription on my channel. Uh, it's pretty simple to set it up, and it uh, doesn't cost you anything extra. Um, anything else I'm forgetting, chat? Oh, well, you can read my articles. Those are linked as well. And uh, I'm really excited for call time, so stay tuned for call time content. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you folks next time.